Hi, this video is on the many ways to get cycle time out of Gibbs Cam from the part that you've programmed. So first let's go to OpSim up here. And before you simulate, if you right click on the blue bar and switch it to show time and then simulate, you'll get the time down here on the lower left. That's the first way. Let's go to Operations Manager. If you go to this, you can right click up here and customize these headers by the way. These are what's visible and these are what's available. So if you think this is too long winded, you could certainly remove a lot of them, but cut time is among the length, uh, among the list. So here we've got cut time and we've got a time below here. Now yours, if yours doesn't show that, click this button up here and it will calculate the cut time for you and these values will show up. So then it tells us the total cut time up here. Let's go to another way. Let's go to operation summary and this will launch Excel and generate a report with the total cycle time up here and all the other cut times for each operation over here. And then let's go to reporters another way. Let's go to operation report. We'll click OK. It will simulate the part and then generate a report. So here's our report. I would want to switch it to mill ops here and it'll show total cut time at the top and individual cut times for each operation. Now please keep in mind that these are actual times in the cut. If you want to see like rapids and tool change times added and all that good stuff, uh, you would really need to have machine simulation and a machine built, which will give you a very accurate cycle time. Thanks for watching.